three beets, about uh, small to medium, uh, green pepper, about three quarters of a green pepper, and celery, I would say about six stalks of celery, um, about uh, a third of a medium onion, and this is like four carrots. And we add a chicken bouillon, and then we add either pow it's powdered garlic or we can add just a regular garlic clove cut up, probably two garlic cloves and one teaspoon of the powder. Then we add some diced tomatoes, uh, 7.96 mils, and then here I have like three small potatoes cut up, and then coleslaw, one bag of coleslaw, and I always cut it up. Is that a small bag? That's, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's a smaller there's, bag. There's a small bag. Yeah. Yeah, there's the like, small bag and yeah. then there's the big oh, bag. Oh no, this is a small bag. Okay, perfect. And then there's approximately five cups of water. And then you add the dill. How much dill? Dill is like one bunch of dill. Oh yes, one okay. Bunch. I know exactly what you mean. Cut up fine. And then one cup of uh, tomato juice. And then mashed potatoes, either store-bought or it's better to do your own if Fresh. you can. So uh, in a future video, we're yeah. going to make um, our mashed potatoes and you'll probably never buy no. pre-made mashed no. potatoes. No, I just bought pre-made today. Yeah, yeah. Well, but usually... and, and just so people know, yeah. we're, uh, this is our first video. Yeah. So uh, the hand belongs to Cynthia and the video, belongs, <laughs> the video camera it belongs to Rhonda. Okay. So here we go. Okay, so I'm putting a teaspoon of butter in the Instapot. A teaspoon or a tablespoon? Teaspoon. Okay, teaspoon. And a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. Okay. And now I am going to turn the Instapot on. I'm going to turn on, it's going to be saute. And I want it to go on the, um, I, I'm going to use the adjust button. And I'm going to adjust it to the less setting because saute in the Instapot it can be quite hot. And, okay. and it's better to do less than more just because, yeah. you know, you can't, you can always add, but you can't take it yeah. away, right? True. So, in the meantime, I'm sorry about that shot going off to the side. All right, so now you're going to do what? Okay, now we're going to add the onions and the celery and the green peppers and what how much do you want to cook these how long oh you're putting carrots in too carrots in too yeah okay well, well maybe we should insta instant pot I have so stirring you can already hear the pot warming up All right and and um, you're going to just do like you do in a frying pan yep right yep so how soft do you want these before you um, add the rest of the ingredients? Well, probably like three quarters soft. Okay, yeah. so I would suggest because we're doing it in the Instapot, yeah. we don't have to cook them that much because we're going to be pressure cooking them. Okay. So your saute, in my opinion, is to like get them soft and buttery and flavor. Yeah, your dill and I'm gonna add the dill. And I'm gonna add the, the garlic. The garlic about yep. one teaspoon of garlic. Yeah. So already your time is gonna go down because you don't. How much are you putting in there? About a teaspoon. Okay. The garlic about. I just put like just get it flavor at the beginning. Yes. About so it's only some of about your yeah. dill. Three three teaspoons. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, go. Okay, so I just added the rest of the dill. Now I'm gonna put in the can of tomatoes. So we've only been um, um, sauteing the uh, ingredients for a short time. So, so short a time that it hasn't even come to full temperature. Okay, so when, when it comes to full temperature, million? the screen will change to numbers because it only sautés for 30 minutes. Okay. And then the cold slaw. Yep. And then the tomato juice. Yep. And then the water. Yep. And then the 
the potatoes, I have to strain the potatoes here. Straining potatoes. Yep, in go the potatoes. Give it a mix. And then I think it should come to a boil, then I'll add the mashed potatoes. Okay, okay. I'm gonna add the pepper. And it's called, and the Himalayan rock salt. Mm -hmm. Just maybe like four times like that. Gotta love that Himalayan there. salt. It's absolutely there. full of minerals. Our body just loves Himalayan salt. Okay, there we go. The only thing I have left to add is uh, mashed potatoes. Okay, so then we're bringing this to a boil. And then, so tell me why you put mashed potatoes in your borscht. Well, mashed potatoes makes it thick. Ah, so it makes it you thicker. like a it, thick... ma it makes it thicker, yeah, and it just has a total different consistency. So, do you know what nationality your borscht is? I'm pretty sure it's Ukrainian. Ukrainian. It's Ukrainian, yes. Okay. Yeah, because I learned that um, borscht is made in different um, nationalities. Rush, make it different. Russian, you can make it different. I think they put meat in theirs. I put meat in mine. Yeah. So do you. You put chicken bouillon well, in yours. Yeah, I put a chicken bouillon. That's as close as you're going to get to meat. <laughs> no. Okay, so we're going to bring this to a boil. And actually, what I can do with saute, yeah. at this point, because we're looking for boil, I'm going to turn this pot off again. And I'm going to do saute. And I'm going to do adjust and I'm bringing it up to high now because now we have so much in here yeah we need a higher temperature yeah. temperature to get this puppy going right do you put the lid on while you're cooking we can do oh, but, I don't know. Uh, uh, at this point because we're just looking for a boil yeah because I gotta add the potatoes yet and then yeah it's the last thing. now I mean we could um, put the lid on and come back and check it in 10 minutes or we can yeah. you know do the proverbial watch no, we'll just watch it and you will, yeah, let's just watch it. Okay. okay. So, so far, how do you feel about the Instapot and your borscht? I think it's great. It's great. You just put everything in there together. Yes, it's great. It's quick. No frying pan. No. 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 It's great. Okay. All right. Do you have any questions? Uh, not at this point. I don't know. No. Nope. I pretty, might later. Pretty simple. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's pretty simple, yeah. So okay. you decided you want to add some thyme to your... Yes, um, I usually put like half a teaspoon it's, of thyme. It's it's ground, I take it. Yes. Yep, it's ground. Half a teaspoon of thyme. thyme. Yep. Just mix that in. Everybody needs thyme. Yes. Ah! Yes. Still has to come to a boil here. Yeah. Okay, so we're getting to a light roll, rolling boil here. Did you notice? It hasn't just, taken long, has it? You no, know, it hasn't taken long at all. It's just starting to boil, so I'm yeah. going to add the mashed potatoes. And you're doing this because you want to make, you use the mashed potatoes to help. It, it. it makes it get thick. It gets thicker, and it just gives it a really nice consistency. I don't know if I'll use this whole container. Let's see here. And may I please point out that, did you notice that the pot's holding it quite easily? The pot is taking everything. I put like, like a lot of water in there. There's a lot of stuff in here. I know, and you and were worried that... Yeah, it, that it, the pot wouldn't be big enough. Yeah. It's take up. I'm going to put all the potatoes so in here. why don't you put some sauce in there, there and then there it'll go. clean out your container. Okay. Like this, you mean, right? Yeah. Let's get it all. Yeah. And then it gives it a different color, too. Sort of a, like, pinkish color. Yeah. Oh. Smells amazing. Gotta love it. Okay, that's done. That's the last Okay, so ingredient. now we want to... So normally at this point, you would just leave it on the stove for how long? Oh, probably an hour and a half. What? Yeah, probably an hour and a half, yes. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm going to hand Funny. off this video to you. You're going to hold the video. And I'm going to put the lid on, and then we're going to put it into... Um, um, pressure cooker mode. Okay, so now we're gonna kick it up a notch. Okay. Okay, so here you go. You now you're the video taper. All right. So you get the lid, and there's an arrow right, right here, and there's an arrow here. It's hard to see, but right. when it's in place, you can hear the indicator. So okay, you hear that? Yep. That means the lid's in pl in right place. 
that means it's locked. Okay. And then because we're going to pressure cook, we're going to put the valve vent pointing to the out, away to the wall. Okay. All right. Down here, we're going to turn this off again. And now we're going in, I go into manual mode and it, this particular pot auto, automatically sets at 30 minutes. You have a choice of low pressure or high pressure. And I think we're, because we're using vegetables, I'm going to go into, I'm going to redo that. So manual, I want to take the time down. So I'm using the minus button to bring the time down. It doesn't need a lot of time. So I'm going to maybe do 10 minutes. Okay. And I'm going to adjust the pressure. Uh, adjust the pressure. Pressure. There. Adjust the pressure with the pressure button. Okay. To low pressure. And once it's all set, set for 10 minutes, low pressure, valve is back. Now it says it's on. It's given the beep indicator. That's called set it and forget it. Okay. Come back in 10 minutes or actually it, it takes It'll beep though, it, right? Yeah, it'll beep, but it's not it's not a true 10 minutes because now that has to come up to temperature so that this pin comes up. So here right now the pin is down. With that pin down, right. you can open and close. Once it goes into uh, full pressure mode, this pin comes up and it becomes a lock, so you cannot take the lid off. Okay. All right. Yep. And later we'll uh, walk through the other. All right. Okay. So, okay, the, so went up. the steam went away and the sound stopped, and that's because now the pin is in place, which means the lid is locked. Shortly, well, a little bit longer, and the uh, the temperature will uh, continue to rise. And once the temperature is right, you'll see the numbers come up, and it'll count down from ten minutes. Okay. Okay, so now it's beeped and it's gone into what's called warm mode. You can tell it's gonna it, it will stay in warm mode for up to ten hours. Wow. Okay. Okay. So it can it can naturally depressurize, or you can turn the valve forward and release. Okay. Okay. How long does it take it to do? But I, 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 I don't, do I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. I can't. I don't have an answer to that. It doesn't take long. Okay. Right. If you want it to depressurize faster, um, but do do it naturally. Turn this off, because then the temperature goes down. I would just do what you did. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna just let this naturally uh, depressurize while you make us progies. <laughs> So Cynthia decided she doesn't want to wait for it to uh, depressurize naturally. So we're doing a quick release, which means I've, I've turned the, this is the back for pressure. And this is the quick release is bringing this valve forward. And um, you can, uh, you can hear the, the steam releasing. I don't know if you can see it kind of hard with the steam coming out from the pot beside us. But there is steam coming out of there. That's another recipe. <laughs> okay, so the pin has gone down, right? right? It's gone down, yeah. So now I'm going to turn the lid and and um, we're going to open it this way because the cupboard's here. Okay. And we're going to stay out of the way of the steam, right? Right. There. Oh, right. look at that. Okay, where's our spoon? Oh, there it is. We'll use this one. Okay, so look at that. That looks so good. Does that look any different than what you cook? No, it looks exactly the same. Only this would have taken yeah. how long? Probably an hour and a half. Guess what? Yeah. We have it. It's in how no time at all. Yeah. We've 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 okay. made a wonderful meal. And I just can't wait to eat it with your homemade progies. Yes. Uh, and and in a future video, we will show how to make homemade progies. Yes, we will. Yahoo! Okay, let's enjoy. Yes.